This video is brought to you by WP Forms. Do you want to add a search bar to your WordPress menu? Well, keep watching because in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that so you can get up and running quickly. So let's go ahead and get started with this. If your theme has a lot of widgets and if it has an, a header widget area, you can actually just place that in the header like you see here. Just drag it over to the widget area if you have a header. But if you notice, these are just footer areas for mine, so that won't work. The other area you can look at is take a look at your theme. It might already have search capabilities to put in your header. For instance, I have the 2020 WordPress theme installed here. And so if I go to customize and you'll have to dig around a little bit, it might be under theme options. It might be under customize. But for this theme, if I go into theme options, I have a check mark for show search and header. And when I click on that, it brings it over here. When it's in a full desktop mode, it'll bring it over here for this particular theme. My resolution is just low, so you don't necessarily see it like that. But if your theme doesn't have that capability at all, then we'll need to do this next step. So let's head over to our plugins area and click add new because we're going to add a plugin that will allow you to add search in your menu area. So I'm gonna search for ivory search. And this is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install now. And we'll go ahead and stick around to activate it as well. So we can either click on settings here or you see we have a new theme. Or you see we also have a new tab over here. From this area, we just want to make some changes and decide what all we want to allow search for. So we want to allow people to search for posts. If you want them to search for images or attachments, then they can do that here. If you don't want that, then you can turn that off. You can also choose to allow search for your pages. And then under posts, this is what you can choose. Search all posts, or you can narrow it down even further. Same thing with pages. And you see that some of these are for pro level only. So once you're finished with that, you want to go ahead and click save form. And then you could also go over here and exclude things. This would be great if you don't want people to search for particular attachments. If you're doing like a giveaway or a purchase, then you could remove those from the search area. There are some other settings under here that you can look at. And then what you also want to look at is the options. And this will allow you to change the number of search results per page. We're going to leave it at 10. And then again, there are some other options for pro or higher access that you could do as well. So we'll click save. And then we want to head over to our settings area. From here, you want to decide where to put the search bar. So we're going to go on to our menu search and we're going to put it in the desktop horizontal menu. That's just theme specific. This is my particular theme menu. And so that's where I'm going to put it. If you have multiple menus, then you'll have them here to choose from. And this is how you can choose how it looks. You can either even bring in Google custom search if you wanted to. So we're going to click save changes. And then what I want to do is open this up in a new window so we can see it in action. Great. And now you see a big search button here that is really easy for people to see so that they can search my website and find what they're looking for. Another way we can help them find what they're looking for is by installing a contact form. WP Forms is one of the easiest to use drag and drop contact form plugins on the market. WP Forms is great for creating simple contact forms as well as marketing and payment forms, donation forms, as well as automating your whole business workflow on your website. To get started, just head over to wpforms.com forward slash WP Beginner to get your best deal off of WP Forms. And thanks for watching.